In this podcast episode, Vivek Ramaswamy, an American business leader and former Republican presidential candidate, delves into the complexities of American identity, the implications of neoliberalism, and the future of the America First movement. Ramaswamy's insights stem from his experiences on the campaign trail and his latest book, Truths, The Future of America First, which critiques the Republican Party's shortcomings while offering a vision for the future of conservatism. Ramaswamy begins by reflecting on the challenges of campaigning for the presidency, emphasizing the need for a sustainable approach that balances family life with the demands of the road. He shares how he and his wife recalibrated their family dynamics to ensure that their children received the education and attention they needed while he pursued his political ambitions. This experience, he argues, brought his family closer together and enriched their lives rather than detracting from them. Transitioning to the current political landscape, Ramaswamy discusses the tight race leading up to the 2024 election. He critiques the recent debate performances, particularly focusing on Donald Trump's challenges against Kamala Harris and the moderators. Ramaswamy believes that Trump's strengths shine in town hall-style debates where he can engage directly with voters. He expresses skepticism about the impact of the debates on the election outcome, noting that Trump's established presence in the electorate may overshadow any single debate performance. Ramaswamy also highlights the importance of supporting down-ballot candidates, recognizing that many Senate races are crucial for maintaining Republican control. He emphasizes the need for a cohesive message that resonates with voters rather than merely reacting to the Democratic agenda. A significant portion of the discussion revolves around the critique of neoliberalism, which Ramaswamy identifies as a driving force behind many of the challenges facing America today. He argues that the neoliberal approach, which sought to spread democracy through capitalism, has failed, particularly in the context of U.S.-China relations. Ramaswamy points out that America's reliance on China for critical supplies undermines national security and economic independence. He contrasts this with the America First movement, which he sees as a rejection of neoliberalism but acknowledges that it lacks a cohesive vision for the future. Ramaswamy identifies a fork in the road for the movement, with one path leaning towards protectionism and the other advocating for a more nuanced approach that includes strengthening alliances with other nations. Ramaswamy's book, Truths, The Future of America First, aims to address these issues by providing a framework for what America First should mean moving forward. He argues that the movement must evolve beyond being a reactionary impulse against the left and instead articulate a clear vision for American identity and policy. This includes a focus on trade, immigration, and foreign policy that prioritizes American interests while fostering relationships with allies. He emphasizes the need for a national identity grounded in shared ideals rather than ethnic or geographic ties. Ramaswamy believes that American exceptionalism is rooted in the principles outlined in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, which promote self-governance, free speech, and meritocracy. He argues that these ideals should guide immigration policy, ensuring that new citizens share a commitment to American values. A central theme of the conversation is the question of what constitutes American identity. Ramaswamy asserts that the United States is unique in its foundation on ideals rather than blood and soil. He argues that a strong national identity can be built on shared values, such as the rule of law, free expression, and the pursuit of individual potential. He warns against the dangers of an ethno-nationalist perspective, which he believes undermines the very essence of what it means to be American. Ramaswamy advocates for a civic nationalism that emphasizes the importance of understanding American history and ideals. He suggests that every immigrant should be required to pass a civics test, similar to that required for citizenship, to ensure a shared understanding of American values. He also proposes that high school seniors should be required to pass the same test, reinforcing the importance of civic education. The discussion also touches on foreign policy, where Ramaswamy critiques both isolationism and interventionism as inadequate responses to the current global landscape. He argues that the United States must prioritize strengthening its military and industrial base to ensure national security. 
Ramaswamy believes that a strong military is essential for effective foreign policy and that the U.S. should not act as a nanny state for its allies without ensuring they contribute to their own defense. He emphasizes the need for a balanced approach that recognizes America's interests while fostering strong relationships with allies. Ramaswamy's vision for foreign policy aligns with his broader critique of the nanny state, advocating for a more disciplined and strategic approach to international relations.